Huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. On this day, exactly three years ago, I began the Overlord X YouTube channel. Well, I actually started it on the 24th, but this video is being uploaded just a little bit later. But it's absolutely insane to think about the fact that it's already been three years. I have really been uploading content regularly for all of this time. I just know younger me would be very impressed with this. I only have all of you to thank for this too. Truly, I will seriously be forever grateful. I know it sounds very cliche for YouTubers to say this, but seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I do really mean it. But with that out of the way, today, to celebrate this milestone, I thought I would do a Q&A. Today, I have picked out a few of my favourite questions that I have recently been asked. I want to answer them here with all of you. So without further ado, let's begin with the Q&A. So to be honest, I didn't really know how to format this video. In the past, I've put random gameplay in the background, but I think for this one, I'm just going to keep it pretty simple. And I'm just going to be sticking to what I usually do with all of my videos. So I've got some questions here. There's going to just be some normal footage in the background like I do for all of my videos. And yeah, we'll go from there. So somebody here says, favorite season? And for that, I would have to say Season 6, Skybound, to be honest. I've always debated on whether or not I prefer Master of the Mountain, but I think ultimately I just have to go with Season 6. Favourite set wave? A tough one, but I do really like the Season 1 set wave. Season 5 one was good too. Um, season 13, definitely. And I did like the Crystallized one. But coming to just one is really, really difficult, and I'm not sure I could ever fully decide on just my singular favourite. Although, maybe I would pick the Season 1 set wave. It was really, really cool, in my opinion, and very, very creative with all of the snake vehicles. Somebody else here asks, quote, Any LEGO set goals for the future? Any sets in particular that you want for your collection? Um, to be honest, I would like the Iron Doom quite a bit, and I say that just because it's rare. I want to have that in my collection. I think it's just cool to own and have on a shelf sat somewhere. Other than that, I'm not really too sure. I mean, for future sets, I'm hoping to get a lot from the Summer Wave, if that's any good. I'd like to have the City Markets in my collection. I think that would be pretty cool, especially since I already have the Gardens. I think they would look very good together. Other than that... Uh, I'm not really that sure. I think I've got everything that I really want, ultimately. Anything else is just a bonus for me. But yeah, I think that's really all I can think of as of right now. Somebody here asks, Do you plan on making non-Ninjago content on a different channel in case your love for Ninjago goes away? To be honest, good question. Um, in case my love for Ninjago goes away, I'm not sure that's ever going to happen. Even if all of the seasons from now on end up being just absolutely terrible, we've still got all of the content that we obviously have currently still sat there, which obviously I do still enjoy a lot of it. So I don't think my love is ever going to go away with it, especially since I've already been really in love with Ninjago for so long now, since 2016 to be specific. I'm not sure I can ever just become fully disconnected from it, lose interest slightly, I mean, maybe, but I'm not sure if I'd ever actually switch up my whole content for it either. I think, if anything, I would just stop making videos. Although it's a good question, we would just have to see it when it comes to it, I suppose. But as of right now, looking into the future, I can't personally picture myself making other content other than Ninjago. I think that's just how it's going to always be, really. Somebody here asks, will you ever face reveal? And this is another one I always debate myself on. I'd like to, but at the same time, it's a huge commitment that you might not even understand for a lot of you guys watching. It's just kind of a big thing having your face on the entire internet for everybody to see. And I'm just not really sure I'm prepared to do that. I like kind of just being away from that side of things. Just a commentary channel providing my own personal thoughts on Ninjago stuff without having my face out there. But who really knows? Again, I debate myself on this quite a lot and I'm just not sure to be quite honest with you. So any answer I can give isn't really going to be very, very accurate. Somebody here says, what are your thoughts on the earlier sets from Ninjago? Good question. Actually, very unique one. I do like that one a lot. Um, I'm, I, I like them, I'd say overall. I like them, but at the same time, some of them do look very outdated. For example here, I actually own the Skull Truck, and I got it because I liked the look of it, of course. But at the same time, it's clear that it's very, very outdated in a lot of ways. So I just wish Legacy did something with that, and I wish they just kind of 
took sets and give them a fully updated look without almost taking away the identity from some of them. In particular, the X1 Ninja Charger. That's a good example of what I'm talking about. But yeah, overall, I like a lot of them, but some of them do definitely look a little bit dated. But that's not really a fault of anything. It's just Lego kind of growing and, uh, yeah, growing over the years, really. And somebody else also asked, do you ever plan on making gaming videos? Like, for example, doing a Let's Play series on the Ninjago movie game or Shadow of Ronin? I mean, I couldn't do a series on the Ninjago movie game just because I don't own a gaming console. But I mean, if I did have access, I think that does sound quite cool. And it's a game I've always been quite interested in playing as it is. The Shadow of Ronin game, not sure if I really like it. But I mean, it sounds like a cool idea. So I mean, maybe in the future, if they brought out another mobile game, I would definitely consider it just because I think that's quite a cool concept. And it would just be fun, really. Um, somebody here asks, when do you think you'll stop making videos? And I've... Right, I always think about this. I'm not sure if I'll ever stop completely, but I feel as though there will become there will become a time where I just get more busy in my real life and, you know, I get a job, all of that kind of stuff. I think when that happens, content will slow down drastically and it will become a lot more of a passion, I think, for me, where I will spend a lot of time on one particular video and upload it eventually. I don't think I'm ever going to completely stop in that way, but, I mean, I think daily uploads absolutely will stop sooner than you may think, to be honest. Obviously, you don't want to be negative here, but I think those may come to an end. But, I mean, the passion I have for it, I don't think that will ever stop fully. But we'll just see how it goes, I guess. And somebody says, do you think you'll ever make non-Ninjago content on your channel? Similar to a question I've just asked. But, no, to be honest, especially not on my main channel. I just like to keep everything on my main channel Ninjago related. And considering the fact that I do not think my love for Ninjago will ever just disappear, especially making content for Ninjago, I don't think that's ever going to end. So I feel as though I'm always going to be a Ninjago YouTuber. And that's kind of just how it's going to be, in my opinion. But with that all being said, that is basically going to sum it up for my thoughts on all of this. Thanks for all of you uh, that have sent me questions to ask. Really appreciate that, and it made for quite an, an interesting video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I hope you all learned a little bit more about me and my thoughts on some Ninjago-related stuff. Before we end out, though, I would just like to reiterate, thank you all so, so much for three years on YouTube. It's kind of crazy, and to know that I'm still getting support, it's honestly heartwarming and... I know, it's just so cliche, every YouTuber says it, but seriously, I do really, really appreciate it. Still doing what I like is just so much fun, and I, yeah, I cannot even put into words. Three years later, still doing the same thing, it's so awesome to think about. But with all of this being said, that is basically going through it from me here. Once again, happy three-year anniversary, and with all of this being said, I will see you all soon for my next one. Please leave, leave a like on it if you did enjoy it, and subscribe for more. But with all of this being said, I'll see you all soon for my next one. Goodbye.